Welcome back to Fishing with Andre, and today we're going to rip some lids. His tip up ready. We just got another friend that just showed up. Let's see how fishing goes. Oh, we got a tip up. Yet? Um, a little pike or decent bass? Little pike or bass. decent bass? Bass, yeah. Put them in the ice, look at Oh, nice. Look at them right there. Yeah, corner to mouth. Yeah, good job, buddy. Nice. Gone. You gone. Good job, buddy. Thanks, buddy. So here I am, finally out on the ice. Finally out doing some ice fishing and I couldn't be happier man. Like I couldn't be happier to be out here. I couldn't be happier to be freaking just just out here, you know what I mean? Like I'm happy to be out here. Uh I haven't put out any videos in a while. That little gap there between the fall and the winter it kinda like screws up my ice fishing season because um it just it's too cold. Yeah, the guides freeze up on the on the fishing rod. My hands are too uh fragile now for fishing from shore in December. I've tried it. I've done it. I passed it. Now I'm ready for the ice season. And here I am. I'm on the ice. So you see I keep looking back because if you guys look way back there, my tip up is right there. So uh, I just keep on looking back at it. Uh, Luke went into the bass a while ago and um, hopefully I can catch something too. I got a bit of shiner on there and we'll see what we can get I did uh, bring some freezing frozen cro uh, <laughs> I did bring some freezing frozen creek chubs that I caught uh, this summer with Luke on a uh, little fly fishing extravaganza that I did it was wicked awesome now like I said it's been a while since I put out videos I do apologize uh, ice season to here I'm gonna be doing some videos again I'm back at her Back to doing what I love, and uh, hard water is probably one of my favorite fishing times of the year because it's the only time you can go walk on a lake that's two, three hundred feet deep and it's got twelve inches of ice, and you're walking above it. I don't know to me, just something about it, serenity or the being crazy about doing it, I guess. So um, stay tuned. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. In the tight lines, everyone. They're gonna bass, little by. Gonna fall off. Get them hooked. Top of the bear. Little fall off. Coffee to warm the soul. Go see what Luke's up to. Doing some hole bouncing right now, moving away from the huts. Hut there and a hut there. Let's see if we can uh, catch ourselves an easy fish. Luke's got one on the mark right now. Almost 14 feet of water.
Get Bob! Zip up! Where'd it go that time? The reel is slowly turning, the fish doesn't know it's caught yet. This is Luke's tip up, let's watch him. Set the hook on this bad boy. Piece of wood, I see that now. Slowly pulling line in. Hey, he let go or he's swimming back towards me. He let go, he let go I. Ah! He was with yeah, he was moving with it. He had it. Yeah. Put it up a lot higher this time. All right. Took a way quicker bite. Get out of me! All right, everybody. Welcome to Fishman Andre Crib Edition, and this is my ice shelter for ice fishing. So, bogging, tail, heat of propane. It's a cold. And then in here, our fishing gear, my lantern, coffee, more fishing gear, flasher. Rods, more rods, all set up. They're not too far behind me. Got my tip up. Then if I look over here, there we go. There. There's another tip up. And yeah, my buddy Luke fishing behind me, who I'll introduce here shortly after. So if anybody wants to check out my boy Luke, you can catch him on uh, YouTube at Limestone City Anglers. Angler. Angler. Yeah, because you are the angler. And on Facebook, you can find us on Limestone City Anglers. Ah, uh, that's for, the one. That's for everybody to join and post your pictures. All right, cool. Well, well check her out, boys. Luke is quite the angler. He has put me on my first carp this year. In Ontario and a couple different other species as well so stay tuned to see some more videos of this guy showing us how it's done oh, oh. <laughs> not paying attention it's my fault no, the bite was there <laughs> strip me strip yay 
So how's it going? Oh, we'll be back. <laughs> Missed a hit. Oh, I just had a fucking four pound large and I was right to the hole, buddy. No! <laughs> <laughs> I worked him so fucking hard to get him to bite. Oh, that's shitty, man. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Fish and Rodgery. Uh, unfortunately, I did not catch any crappie. Uh, the crappie bite was pretty slow. Uh, it's two outings now that I go out and there was no crappie. I caught pike last time and I caught two bass this time and four pike. Uh, my battery ran out so I don't have any footage of the pike. Once it's dark out, they're small guys. They're all between 18 and 24 inches, so what is? Like I said throughout this episode, I've been on hiatus, I'm back, the ice season is back, I'll be back to videotaping again and doing some uploads on YouTube, so don't forget to hit that like button and uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, tight lines everyone.